Good Monday morning to you. Pretty interesting night last night with some amazing storms. Plenty of lightning and thunder about and obviously spot fires like this have popped up all around the area and these guys are just putting out the final bits of fire here on a, uh, a small fire on KW Road as it starts to rain. I've also spoken to a handful of people out at Seaview Park who said um, they had to turn their air conditioners off because the smell of smoke was so strong last night. What is going on here? Who's shooting traffic signs? Saturday night's concert here at the Experience Lancelin Holiday Park was an absolute ripper. Well over a thousand people, uh, two bands on stage in the grass area. I'm pretty sure that almost everybody left happy and I think we'd probably have a good chance of seeing many more concerts at this venue in the future. I'm down here on the beach in front of the Endeavour Tavern on what is a, a, a miserable sort of morning. It's not cold, but I think it's probably going to get to around 30 today. This will be the venue for the Lancel and Colour Blast, which is on again Saturday, February 27. You're all invited. Early bird tickets are on sale now, and I think we've already gone through about a quarter of the early bird tickets yesterday. So if you want to jump in and grab them at 12.50 for adults and 7.50 for kids, go to the lancelin.com.au website right away and guarantee your spot. And this year, because of COVID, we're having to deal with restricted numbers of participants. If you're thinking about coming up to fish off the beach around Lancelin, it's well worth the trip. I did it last week, absolutely loved it. Even did a video of the drive along the beach from Lancelin, or just north of Lancelin, right up to Wedge Island. There's a link in the description, and if you're intending to do the drive, this will give you an idea of the uh, points of interest that you'll see along the way. Behind me is the entrance to the Lancelin Sand Dunes here on Beacon Road. Now, there's a sand mine out there right next to the main sandboarding hill. The trucks that service that sand mine normally go into the dunes via that access. But the Shire now want to carve a 600 metre road through these dunes here and bring these sand trucks past these houses here on Beacon Street, which is obviously not making the residents very happy, but perhaps more importantly, it's crazy to think that they're going to cut a 600 metre track through dunes when they've already got one there. Now this has caused quite a bit of comment in town. And tonight, if you watch Channel 9 News, there'll be a story on there. They were up shooting it on Friday. The shifting sands of a WA tourism favourite. It's an environmental disaster. Why our state's most popular dunes are under threat. Should not be allowed at all. The race against time to save a summer playground. So, what's next? See the full story. Nine News tonight.